wedding season may be upon us, but if you ask many couples and wedding planners, D.C. is being a party foul. It's heartbreaking. Julie Carter is the event director of the Rock Creek Mansion in Bethesda. She's also the founder of the Montgomery County Venue Managers Association. She's baffled by new D.C. health guidelines that ban dancing at wedding receptions. That includes standing at cocktail hour. My heart breaks for the brides, and as a venue manager, I am so uh, sad for the venues who are potentially going to be losing a lot of business. Couples are now scrambling to change venues outside the district last minute. As a result, Carter says Maryland venues in her group have been busy fielding calls from concerned couples. That's on top of getting ready for other weddings that have already been postponed since last year. So the phone is ringing off the hook because now with the vaccine, more and more people are planning for the fall and of course 2022 we're all very very busy but despite ongoing and widespread criticism of these restrictions mayor Merrill bowser seems to be doubling down and for now sticking with her decision we think it's very important that we open up our industries um, but we do it um, we do it safely for companies in virginia and maryland it's likely good for business after a dismal year the industry as a whole is reopening. In Montgomery County, though, only a maximum of 50 people are allowed inside and 100 people outside. But unlike D.C., how to celebrate here isn't being restricted. I'm very sad for the venues who not only are losing their business, but for the venue managers who are so invested in these couples. Matthew Torres, WUSA 9. Now let's focus on the fight against.